Back to give you guys another KJK VIP prize picks WMBA6 pick flex for free on the channel here today. Going to be breaking down the process that goes into my WMBA picks and giving you an actual VIP slip that I did place myself sent over to the VIP just as I did yesterday with these picks. Cashing in for a nice 10x rocking with the Derek Ahambi under PRA, the Kalia Copper under PRA. The Brittany Grinder and John Cole Jones under 16.5 rebounds combo. The Nakasha Cloud over 12.5 points and rebounds. And Brianna Stewart over 43.5 fantasy score. Cameron Brink was a reboot, so we had a nice 10x over there yesterday on the prize picks WNBA streets. We also swept over on underdog fantasy with MLB props. Cashing on in this three pick was able to turn 500 into 3,346 myself. Over on Underdog Fantasy, if you haven't checked them out, you can use the promo code KJKDFS to get an instant match on your first deposit over there. You can use the promo code KJKDFS to get an instant match on your first deposit on Prize Picks. And I got to give some shout outs to the VIP guys. If you are interested, you should get over there as soon as you can. I am coming on these videos every day and I'm giving you one six pick flex for free. That's an actual VIP play. And I'm breaking down all that goes into my process so you can know that the process is legitimate. You can see the results live on these videos as to all that goes into it but if you enjoy the content and you want all my plays all the stuff i'm discussing in this one ticket constantly this is where you're going to want to go as soon as possible it's a dollar 66 cents a day that's a joke i want it to be affordable it's way underpriced on purpose so i would love to have you join start cashing in with us add the fred last night 100 into 2500 here in the winter circle we had 20 into 500 here for Ackley. Cashed in on, on that same ticket that I just pulled up for you guys. JNR cashed in using a bunch of the different props that I promoted last night. 5 into 125. Here, this one, 5 into 1125. This one, mixing in some green goblins and such. Would not suggest that, JNR, if you're using my resources. I think I've already told you those are kind of a ripoff, my friend, but I can only try to help you out. Tell you so many times, 5 and a 125 here for big 1990. 10 into 100 cash in on that same five pick flex. Had some more here with some other props I was on. 5 into 10. JoJo Drift, I know he's in a state, I think Florida, where they changed it so we, we can only run four picks in, in some states, but my VIP members are still using the props that I'm promoting to run those over in those states. We had... Shaq Garner turning five into 50 with that same 10x. Add the Fred here once again with a nice $500 win to boost his prize picks account up some more with those props. So the 10x with the reboot, uh, 750 win here and a 500 win it looks like. Mixing in some different props with the John Quill Jones rebounds. Love that. And then a ton of wins here for Sean Q, man. Shout out to Sean Q. I'd love to go through all these, but the 20 into 40. Uh, on that one, I'm assuming you cash in on the full sweep for us here on this one with the reboot. Yep, 25 into 250, so shout out to you. So you guys get the points. I, I mean, I would love to give every single one of you guys a shout out. I wish I could. 5 into 50 here for Ricky. We had 5 into 50 here for uh, Kenshiro Pau. He also used multiple of my props that I was on yesterday on Flip. And then obviously my own, 400 into uh, 4,000 here. We had the 500 into uh, 3,013 and the underdog streets. And last but not least, Charles here, uh, 10 into 100. So shout out to every single one of the VIP members, guys. We've got one of the best communities out there. I mean, it's just top notch. Everyone's learning every single day. I have a ton of different resources in there. There's been people in there that have learned and made a ton of money, and then they teach others that come in. It's not only prize picks. It's prize picks, underdog fantasy, better picks, parlay, play, and sleeper. So if you go to my YouTube community page, you're going to see all these different winning tickets. Uh, these videos are going to be a great resource to break down exactly what goes in to all of these plays. And then uh, if you are watching and you're enjoying the content, the free content, it's really a no-brainer. Like I said, I made this as affordable as possible with the thousands of dollars I dump into this uh, a year with all the software and all the things I discuss, all the content I produce. I'm going to be showing you like that software. Um, there's a ton that goes into it. There's got to be a cost associated with it, and it's way underpriced on purpose. Uh, so I'd love to have you join over there if you're interested. Uh, and let's go ahead and break down this six-pick flex that I just locked in for you guys. Once again, I can't say it enough, but it's an actual VIP slip. I'm just coming on. I'm sharing one with you guys. This is the third uh, slip that I've placed today so far. The first slip that I placed for all MLB props, literally every single one of them got bumped or taken off the board. So you couldn't even place that if you wanted to unless you're in the VIP. Uh, so... 
Let's break this thing down, man. Uh, six pick flex. Here's what I just locked in. So we'll go play by play, break down exactly why I like it. We got a nice payout boost right now with these uh, stars mean more promos on prize picks. So it's actually going to be an $11,000 ticket here for me today. Hopefully this cashes in. And uh, let's go play by play here. So play number one is going to be the Caitlin Clark under 6.5 assists. Let's go ahead and break down exactly why I like this one today for you. The first thing that's going to go into my process, guys, is going to be market data. For those of you that are not familiar, the sports betting world involves markets. These markets are going to set appropriate lines and charge a certain amount for every single prop that you're going to bet on. If you were to go on to a sports book, price picks is a little bit of a different structure because we're getting a standard payout 25x no matter what we lock into our tickets so we're going to be wanted to taking a lot of props that are favored on sports books this is the daily grind fantasy optimizer it is one of the tools that i use every single day you're not going to see me promote or talk about any tools that i do not actually use myself on this channel this is a very valuable tool the code kjkdfs will get you 25 percent off if you want to check it out guys the under on Caitlin Clark's 6.5 assists is favored on one, two, three, four, five, six different data points here on the Daily Guy Fantasy Optimizer. For those of you that are new to sports betting, you don't know what this means. I always break it down like this. I find it to be the simplest version. I find it to be helpful for people that are learning. If you were to go over to FanDuel, which is a sports book with millions of dollars invested into setting appropriate sports books lines, you would have to risk $138 to $100. It is minus 138. In the sports betting world, minus means the prop is favored. So in this case example, the Caitlin Clark assists, they're saying it's so likely that she's going to go under 6.5 assists that we're going to make you risk $138 to win $100. You're going to have to risk more than you're going to win because it's more than likely she's going to end with six or less assists. Okay. So I always break that down. Everyone's at a different stage of their journey. Some of you might know sports betting lines already, and you don't need to be told that. Some of you might have zero idea. I use the Daily Grand Fantasy Optimizer for market research, and I also use Odds Jam. KJKDFS promo code and link below will get you 35% off this tool. This is the Odds Jam Sportsbook screen. This is the same concept I just discussed. The only difference is it's pulling in every single sports book under the sun across the entire market that has a line on Caitlin Clark. So we can get even more detailed. I always like to pull up as many resources and data points as I can. Minus 138 on the under on FanDuel. She's all the way up to minus 139 on the under on Bet River. Sleeper in real time has turned her all the way down to minus 172. So that's like, they're just saying it's a massive chance she's going to stay under this prop. Minus 125 here on Golden Nugget, minus 139 on four wins, minus 155 on the under on flip. So you get the point here, guys. All of these different markets, I have over 189 sports books selected. WNBA, there aren't quite as many sports books that offer uh, betting lines for WNBA. So there's not going to be, you know, 100 pulled in, but as many as possible are pulled in. All telling us that the under is the smart play on Caitlin Clark. And I always say the market knows more than you guys if you're trying to go around and look up all the stats and stuff. I certainly look at the stats, don't get me wrong. I wanna be double checking everything. I want as many data points to tell us that this is a good play. But if we pull up the statistics as far as how Washington is doing, the team she's playing here tonight, the Washington Mystics at allowing assists to opposing guards, it is no surprise to me that they're not allowing a lot of assists. All right, so this is all dialed in to the market. You can see Washington's only allowing 4.5 assists per game to guard one starters, the position that Caitlin Clark plays. So that makes sense. They're only giving up four assists. Caitlin Clark's line set at six and a half. They're not giving up a lot of assists. The market's reflecting that. We have a ton of different data points telling us that the under 6.5 is likely to occur here today. Okay. So we just talked about market data. I pulled up the actual stats for you on the screen. That's a terrible matchup, right? These are all things. These are the same things that are going into every single one of my props as every day. When I'm placing these tickets, I'm looking at everything. So we just broke down pick number one here on the slip today. So that's going to be the first one, the under 6.5 assists. You heard me talk about it in the last video. I like correlating plays. The next play we're going to talk about is Aaliyah Boston's under 14.5 points. If we're taking the under on Caitlin Clark's assist, she is the point guard for the Indiana squad, right? So if she's not dishing out assists, that means her teammates are going to be missing shots. And Aaliyah Boston's one of the top usage players on this Indiana Fever roster. We don't want her making shots. 
she's going to be favored on the under on all these markets and she gets literally the worst possible matchup you could ask for taking on this Washington Mystic squad that's giving up the least amount of points to opposing centers on the season. If we go out and we pull up the points per game allowed at the center position, the Washington Mystics are allowing the least amount of points. They're only giving up 8.6 points per game to opposing centers. All right. So once again, the market's going to reflect this, guys. All the research that you think you can do, the market is doing. And in real time, Caitlin Clark just got bumped down. This is what happens when you get good value. So PrizePix has gone ahead and said, this is way too good of a prop. You're too likely to win this. We're going to go ahead and take it down to 6.0, which is going to happen every single day. So apologies that this play just got bumped as I'm recording. But it's a key indicator that my process is right. I'm beating the bumps. I'm getting the best value on the app. I'm giving my best... I'm giving myself the best chance to win. So in real time, you just saw my process working, okay? Um, so Clark's the first one we talked. And now Aaliyah Boston's the second one. 14.5, love the under. We just talked about those stats, right? Only giving up 8.6 points per game are the Washington Mystics, the team she's taken on here tonight. So they've been locked down against opposing centers. And if we go ahead and we pull up the Daily Grand Fantasy Optimizer again here, guys, once again, the tool is very simplistic, but very effective and very useful. All it's doing is it's streamlining the sportsbook data, and it's comparing it to prize picks and telling us the best possible props. Aaliyah Boston's minus 130 on the under on FanDuel, minus 125 on the under on DraftKings, minus 120 on the under on Caesar. She's all the way up to minus 155 on Flip. Okay, so it's streamlining that data and telling us the best prop we can take for Aaliyah Boston tonight is going to be the under 14.5 points. Everything lines up. All the, all the stats we just talked about, right? If we want to get more detailed, once again, I like using AudioJam. I'm only talking about tools I actually use. I'm, I'm browsing the market. These are tools I'm actually using every day to find the best value. Minus 130 on the under on FanDuel. Minus 139 on the under on Valley Bet. Minus 139 on the under on Bet Rivers. She's all the way down to 13.5 in some markets, which might not seem like a big deal if you're a new sports better, but when you're getting an entire point difference on a prop, it's a... Huge deal. Um, these markets are very precise. All right, people. So you can see she's favored on the under in all of these different books. Minus 130, minus 139, minus 130. Some books she's favored under more than others. But yeah, I mean, she's climbing all the way up to like minus 140 on some books. And for those of you that don't know the odds we're getting on prize picks in a five or six pick flex, we're getting minus 119 implied odds. So we want to be playing all five and six pick flexes on price picks so we're getting the best bang for our buck. If we pull up the chart that I always like to refer to here of what I preach on the channel, we're hitting our individual picks at a 60% hit rate or higher. In six pick flexes, we're getting a 66% return on investment, which is insane. It's a lot better than a lot of other investments you're going to get out there. Uh, and people will refer to this as gambling. If you really know what you're doing, guys, it, you really can make some good money. So this is what I teach and preach on the channel. Um... And Aaliyah Boston, yeah, her under points is going to be fantastic. And then, like I said, the correlation, unfortunately, Clark did just get bumped. But if Clark's not going to be dishing out a lot of assists, those passes that come from Clark to Aaliyah Boston, she's going to be bricking off the rim. No assists for Clark, no points for Boston. That's what we want here. So that's all going through my head when I'm constructing the slip here today, right? So that's our first two ladies. Uh, next pick is going to be Alana Smith in the Minnesota Atlanta game. This is going to be a fantastic matchup for her when it comes to the rebounding category. She is the forward starter. If we go ahead and we pull up the stats for the Atlanta dream, as far as how they are faring versus opposing forwards in Alana Smith's position, we're going to see they're giving up a lot of rebounds. They are giving up 7.6 rebounds per game to opposing center starters. So Alana Smith is expected to be in a fantastic matchup here tonight for rebounds. 7.6 rebounds per game in this matchup. And if we look at her last couple games, she's gone over this by a pretty sizable margin. We really don't care about that. Every uh, matchup's different, right? This is not what I want to be looking at. But this is just going to display the upside that she truly has uh, in the rebounding category. She's put up 9 and 7 rebounds, respectively, the last two times out. And she is a, forward, uh, a center starter, as we discussed. So this is going to be the matchup for her. And... Shocker, the market is going to reflect this, guys. All of this research I do, I really like when all the data, all the projections, and all the market lines up. So I do go to that next level. But like I said, simply put, I mean, the, there's millions of dollars invested into setting these lines. So it's minus 130 on the over on FanDuel, indicating you'd have to risk 130 to win 100 on the over. Everything we just talked about is factored into the market. So this tool is streamlining it for us. Daily Guide Fantasy, right? Once again, Odd Jam Sportsbook screen. I like to use both these tools. I like to get as detailed as possible. So the more 
uh, data points that I can have, the better. The only thing is these apps are very quick at uh, bumping plays. So you, you got to be quick with it. I'm doing this extremely fast throughout the day and I'm sending to my VIP immediately. Uh, these videos, I slow it down because I really want to break down the process, but like we got to be real quick. Minus 130 on the over on uh, FanDuel. So all the way up to minus 150 on Topico, all the way up to 161 on Sleeper. Like all of these props we're discussing are just crazy juiced on Sleeper. Um, she's up to 161 on Batana. I mean, so, you know, all these sports books are indicating like there's a really heavy chance she goes over 4.5. Minus 140 on Parlay Play if you use the Parlay Play app. They're charging you all the way up to minus 140, whereas we can get minus 119 on prize picks in a five or six pick flex. Minus 130 on the over on the score. Minus 130 on the over on ESPN bet. All right, guys. So the, the underlying metrics, the stats are matching up and the market's telling us that the over 4.5 rebounds is going to be a great prop to be taken here uh, tonight for Alana Smith. So that's the next prop that I locked in here that we broke down. Asia Wilson, uh, over 10.5 rebounds. Once again, this is going to be a ridiculously good matchup for rebounds for Asia Wilson and the market's going to reflect it. No surprise. So Asia Wilson, 10.5 rebounds, has not gone over in three of the last five. But if we go ahead and pull up this matchup for her, uh, there's a few really good things going here. Number one, this game's going to play with a tremendous pace. Um, as far as the total in this game, this game comes in with a 171.5 over under. That is the highest total on the slate. And for good reason, because these are the two fastest paced teams in the entire WNBA. Uh, the Aces come in with a 98.8 pace metric. That's the fastest pace in the entire WNBA. And the Seattle Storm come in with a 98.57 pace metric. That's the second fastest pace in the entire WNBA. So this game's going to fly. The total reflects that. Once again, the market's going to always reflect this. The 171.5 over under. That means there's going to be up and down action very fast. More opportunities for rebounds. And Asia Wilson's matchup is ridiculously good. Forward one starters. Seattle's given up 9.3 rebounds per game. You see that little smiley face. It's comparing it to all the other matchups throughout the league. Um, all these other teams and how many rebounds they're giving up per game. So like if we pull up uh asia wilson here at the forward position and how many rebounds they're giving up like it's going to just reflect they're giving up a ton um so this is going to be a fantastic matchup here for her to grab rebounds and once again it's going to be reflected within the market she hasn't gone over so some the people that log in and look at the last five game logs on prize picks and that's how they make their picks uh guys you're doing it completely wrong you it's just that is not how you win. You want to be looking at market data. You want to be looking at these underlying metrics I'm discussing. I'm breaking down my process in real time live on these videos and truly talking about what goes into it. You can see minus 125 on the over on FanDuel, minus 125 on the over on DraftKings, minus 130 on the over on BetMGM, minus 130 on the over on Caesars, all the way up to minus 155 on the over on Fliv. This is the best prop, individual prop for Asia Wilson on the entire price fix board. The Daily Run Fantasy Optimizers are telling us with a 52.91% odd to hit. So boom, right? We want to get more detail here. We can go ahead and we can pull up the rebounds over on the uh, Jam Sportsbook screen again, and we can refer to even more data points. Uh, minus 130 on the over here on Valley Bet. Minus 130, minus 156 on Sleeper. Minus 150 on Topico on the over here. Minus 133 on the over on Batano. Minus 130 on the over on Hard Rock. All right. So every single one of these sports books, the entire market, we're looking at minus 131 average odds. We're getting minus 119 on prize picks, so we're getting good bang for our buck. The matchup data matches up. The the uh, market data matches up. A ton of good things indicating that the over is the play here for her. And then to round things out for the slip, uh, I have the Skylar Diggins-Smith over 30.5 fantasy score and the Nika Awumake under 7.5 rebounds. So we discussed all these good matchups for rebounds with Alana Smith and Asia Wilson. Nico Umuke, this is going to be a terrible matchup for her um, for rebounds. If we look at her game logs over the last five years, she went over this by a pretty sizable margin last game against Phoenix. So if you're just looking at these charts, you're like, why is this guy taking her under? Guys, every matchup's different. This isn't a good matchup for her rebounds, okay? This is a terrible matchup. The Aces are only giving up 7.3 rebounds per game to forward one starter. So this is in comparison. Uh, this is comparing the average of each position across the entire WNBA. So you see a little red frowny face. Essentially, they're saying, you know, it's one of the worst matchups for rebounds. That's how that breaks down, right? So the 7.5 line, we're taking the under. It's a bad matchup, and the market's going to reflect it. So I'm checking I'm checking all the underlying metrics, checking the market, 
everything needs to be pointing to these plays. This is how I'm locking in my plays. I'm trying to get some positive correlation if all possible. I discussed that, being that I don't want Caitlin Clark to get assists. It means she's going to be passing it to her teammate in Aaliyah Boston, who I expect to be missing shots against the worst matchup in the league against Washington, who we discussed, does not allow a lot of points. They're the number one team defensively. Nico Wumuke, we talked about they're not giving up a lot of rebounds. Are the aces? The market's reflecting it. Minus 125 on the under on Fandle. Minus 125 on the under on DraftKings. Minus 125 on the under. One, two, three, four, five different data points telling us that the under is the play here on Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer. Streamlining that data for us quick. And Ajam is going to streamline that data for us as well and add in some more data points for us to refer to here. We can scan the entire market. Uh, minus 139 on the under on Bally Bet. So they're saying it's really likely she's going to stay under here. You'd have to risk all the way up to minus 139 there. Minus 135 on the under on Fico. Minus 153 on Batano. They're heavily juicing this under. So, right, all these different data points with the millions of dollars invested into sports books lines that take advantage of average sports bettors that log into an app and look at the last five charts and take all your money. These are the data points that matter. All right, the millions of dollars, the sports books that actually know what they're doing, not these charts that people like to look at. All right. So the last and certainly not least pick is going to be the Skylar Diggins Smith over 30.5 fantasy score. Absolutely love this. They continue to underprice her. Um, I've got her in the mid 30s. For those of you that don't know how the Prize Picks fantasy scoring format works, she's averaging 34.8 over her last five. I've got her priced there right again here tonight. I mean, I've got to go out there and get like 35 fantasy points. They just continue to underprice her. Um, and the Aces are giving up over 21 field goals per game to guard two starters. Last game she played, she put up 41.9 uh, fantasy points against the same Las Vegas Aces team, which really doesn't mean anything to me. I care more about these underlying metrics dial than here. But uh, the, the 30.5 is just simply too low. Got multiple uh, projection models projecting here over here tonight. And uh, we already discussed the, the pace of the game, man. The pace of this game is just going to be absolutely insane. Um, with this 171.5 over under, once again, the top two pace teams in the league. And if we break down Skylar Dick and Smith, you'll hear me talk about in this fantasy scoring format, I want players that get a lot of blocks and steals, if at all possible, because you get three points for every block and three points for every steals. Um, 1.2 for the rebounds, 1.5 for the assists, and then one point for every point, negative one for the turnovers. So Skylar Diggins Smith is an absolute cheat code in this prize picks fantasy scoring format because she does every single one of those. Most notably, she's going to get a lot of blocks and steals. She's a very scrappy defender on the perimeter. You're going to get a lot of steals, which makes me happy uh, when I'm targeting her over. One steal, one block, eight assists, six rebounds, 14 points, six assists, three rebounds, 21 points, two steals. She's getting rebounds, assists, points, and then the blocks and steals. She does it in every single category possible. The turnovers, four and three the last couple times out. We'd like to keep those down if all possible because that's going to be the only thing that gives us negative points. But that's all factored in my projection models, all factored in um, to everything I'm discussing on these picks. And uh, love her to go over this line. I think she gets bumped up. People like to look at these green charts. But uh, it just so happens that I agree with it in this case. They're just – they're not uh, – Pricing her appropriately, especially in this matchup, man. Um, as we discussed, it's the highest total on the slate. One of the highest totals you'll see in the WNBA, over 170. Um, and then the Las Vegas Aces race rank 11th of 12 in the entire WNBA uh, for fantasy points given up to opposing guards. So it's a really great match for her to take advantage here tonight all right guys so that will be my full six pick flex that i just ran on a prize picks i'm giving you guys actual vip slips actual plays for free on the channel breaking down the exact process that goes into each and every pick the exact process that went into these picks you see the results breaking it down before the game happens everything that goes into it helping you out for free if you want to step up your game get the vip package today it's a dollar 66 cents a day i promise you it's going to be the best dollar 66 cents you spend each day of the month, all right? Not only the prize picks, you get the underdog fantasy, all the above, every ticket. As soon as I place them, if you head on over to my YouTube community page, you're going to see all these winning tickets. These videos are a great help to tell you what all that goes into these. If you're like, why is this guy hitting these buttons over the under on this player? These videos will help you to learn exactly that, okay? 
So hopefully we can give you a bunch of winners here for free on the channel. Hopefully some more results like this. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell on your way out the door. Wishing you all the best of luck on your prize picks WNBA player props tonight. We will see you in the next one.